Good morning, everybody. So this is a wee kind of mini life update. So I'm speaking quietly because I'm just still sleeping. So um, I'm up super early um, because I, I, for anybody that doesn't know, the majority of my life I've suffered insomnia. And for the largest portion of my 20s, it was really, really difficult because trying to do anything in life where you are exhausted um, and you then are tired at all the wrong times is difficult. So anyway, uh, I've we've came to our lodge um, because I have an event on in Dunoon tonight and I forgot to lift the medication. I thought I had some here, but I ran out. So we, um, we I realised, sorry, and um, it was too late last night to do anything about it. So it was fun. So for the first time I had um, a sleep without um, said medication to help me sleep. It just kind of makes me drowsy and helps me knock over and stay kind of thingy. But did I not wake up 10,000 times? Uh, yes, I did. Um, what is that? I, I must have been lying funny because that light in my face isn't normally there. Um, but yes, um, so life update. So for anyone who doesn't know, I moved house and um, moved centre. So the house I bought is the the new centre. And um, it was more than I expected um, to be done. Uh, it'd be being very, very honest. Um, the kitchen got ripped out last night only to realise there has been intense mould from water leak we did if you'd seen a video a couple of weeks ago we did find a leak that was really really bad and uh, the leak was um running for don't know how long that it had actually worn away stone so that kind of tells you how long it must have been running for water to wear away stone so anyway um ripped out the kitchen last night and the floor's ready to crumble underneath at one section so that's more money um so the savings that i normally have for like an emergency is kind of caught up in all of that um the center part is completely functional it's the kitchen that the public don't use so it's absolutely fine um so that that's fine it's just the kitchen that i use um so yes uh, anyway so the house has uh, i mean a, a friend said to me a long time ago a house is a hungry thing it always needs fed meaning it always will it always has money needing to be thrown at it um but as much as being fed with money i believe it always needs to be fed with love and everybody that's came through the door so far has uh just received the centre so well and loved the space and yeah it's really really it's been really really special so anyway um the renovations are not finished and um, once the kitchen is done then it is going to be um the stairs um because it looks like the stairs had like a blue sticky tile on the centre of them and then the rest of it was painted white but realised that we pulled the sticky tiles off and got rid of all the goo, the goo from the stickiness, um, you know, just the like sticky floor tiles, um, is this beautiful wood. Um, so we're going to get a company in to take back all the paint to right back to the natural wood and stain it all to match the floorings and the rest of the house. So if I'd been late at getting back to you, if I'd been late in responding, um, I'm so sorry. I genuinely didn't mean it. I just thought that two weeks after moving in, I would be fine and be able to get back to all of my emails and all my messages. I think I've done everybody, but if I've missed you, then I apologise. I am responding a couple of days later than I would normally do, so I couldn't apologise. But um, yeah, so in the comments, what's been happening with you?